What is going on, dudes? How you guys doing? I am the Real Duke, and welcome to this episode of my Infinite Heights Survival Multiplayer Let's Play series. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I want to show you guys a couple things. So part of what I wanted to do in this series is help you guys that are new to Infinite Heights get money fast. And one of the keys to doing that is a powerful plugin we have here called MC MMO, Minecraft MMO, right? Um, I've talked about it before uh, in the last couple episodes, and I want to give you guys some tips on how to level it up super fast. Um, because the faster you can level it up, the more, um, the faster you level it up, the faster you can progress, and the faster it goes, it kind of actually moves itself along faster too. So the faster you level, the faster you can continue to level. And the faster you get it to an even higher level. So um, you can see over in the right part of my screen here, in this area, um, like I mentioned before, we have my balance. I'm at uh, almost seven grand, slowly making money. Power level is uh, almost five thousand now, and there's 27 people online. Uh, you can see them all up there. What's up, dudes? How you guys doing? Um, so what I wanted to talk about today is what I think is the most important one. And that is mining. Um, there's a couple things that can help support mining, um, but for right now, let's just let's just talk a little bit about mining. Now, I know I showed you guys uh, blast mining. I'm sorry. I know I showed you guys the uh, the uh, special super move for mining, the super breaker, um, in the past, and that is pretty magnificent. But what I want to show you guys is how to level up quickly with your mining skill to unlock blast mining. Uh, so I'm up here in the nether, and my little base in the nether, that's all I got so far. But what I did was I tunneled up to the ceiling, right, to just under bedrock. Uh, I'm gonna pop this potion of fire resistance here, and um, I'm gonna show you how I do this. Now you get 30 XP per block for MCMMO of, uh, of netherrack. So you get 30 XP per, per block of netherrack that you mine. Now there are many other ores that give you more like you get like 700 or some really high number for a single block of diamond ore um, you get like I don't know a hundred or so per block of quartz ore of nether quartz ore uh, which are not the highest but there's something special about this that I want to show you guys that kind of give it the advantage over those other things so I come up here um, and uh, I just start breaking blocks now you'll notice how e this is just one click how easily these break and that is the key so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a direction I'm gonna pop this real quick my potion of fire resistance and got my pickaxe ready and I'm just gonna run and let me do let's see here um, mining slash MC scoreboard keep and so now that's gonna stay up there until I type slash MC scoreboard clear and you can see, I'm not using my super breaker, um, so we have the remaining XP until my next level, which would be 1678. Uh, I'm sorry, my current XP is 1677. My next level will be 1241. Um, these are the countdown, the cooldown timers for my blast mining and my super breaker. Um, so you can just watch my current XP go up here as I'm breaking these blocks. And then I'm going to stop for a second after I break a couple. And then we'll talk. So I'm sprinting, and this is why this is why I have the fire resist potion on. So you can see that number just going right up. Now I'm at you know I'm over 1240. Uh, I'm over a thousand uh, in my mining level, which is high. I'm not gonna lie, that's high. Uh, and that's going to take you some time to get to. But you start getting double drops and bonuses at level 125. And at this rate, we'd be probably level 10. Again, fire resist potion is your friend. Okay, so you can, you can see how quickly this goes. So you're probably thinking, yeah, okay, what? So you have like some expensive, you know, efficiency 5 pick that you had to... You had to, you know, finagle with, you know, uh, 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 an anvil or something. And check it out. It's efficiency three. It's on breaking three, which you need, but it's just efficiency three. 
this stuff just breaks quickly and that's what's key that's what's key so as I just keep cruising back and forth I'm on the lookout I mean I'm gaining levels uh, I'm gaining XP from my mining and I'm just on the lookout for some nether quartz ore because that's also good 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 stuff now if you can break stained clay if you can find a mesa biome then that's gonna give you like a hundred XP per block you break and that would be faster than this however not everybody has ready access to an entire mesa biome that they can just destroy willy-nilly um, you also don't get the bonuses of the experience points that you get um, of the and I just went up a level um, so even in just a minute I'm at level 1240 and even just a couple seconds that I've been doing this in front of you guys I've gone up a level so this is super fast um, you also get experience um, for Minecraft levels, for regular Minecraft levels when you break the um, the Nether Quartz. So um, there's that bonus too. So I don't want to spend too much time here. I just wanted to show you guys that very quickly. That's a mess. Don't forget the uh, the fire resistance potion is key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the farm world. I'm going to go ahead and dig a ditch. And I'm going to find some ores for us. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit about blast mining. Even some pros. Um, on our server that have super high levels in mining and stuff do not know all the ins and outs of blast mining and I want to show you guys that coming up in a second so stick around I'll be right back okay so here we are in the farm world um, this is and I'm flying around here um, this is an area that Sarah CB telekinetic llama and I took out using uh, coordination of blast mining a combination rather of blast mining and um, some penciling and I just penciling is a term I've made up I think uh, Lama and I made up to uh, just you know it just describes going around picking a random flat spot and just kinda digging in there and then just seeing if there's any ores and there's some right here so what I'm gonna do is while you guys are watching there's no there's no tricks or anything right um, I'm just going to go ahead and clear out an area around these to kind of show you guys what blast mining is about. Now, um, blast mining is something that you start to benefit from at level 125 in your mining, which you should be able to get to in a day. You really, really should. If, you, if you're able to get into the nether and find... Ooh, here's some more ores. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these out, too. If you're able to... If you're able to find some fire resist potions, which I'm sure a lot of people would just give you if you ask for them. But don't just ask for them. Ask if you can buy some off of someone. Most of the time, people will just give you things if you ask to buy them from people because we're lucky we got a nice community. But just in case, you know, be prepared to pay some cash. I mean, I didn't use that full eight minutes and I was able to at level 1240 gain a level in a minute in front of you guys. So, um, again, it shouldn't take too long. All right. So this is getting even better and better. I'm actually, I'm afraid this is going to cut into like a chain of ore. I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to cut into a chain of ore. So I'm just going to clear this out off camera real quick and I'll bring you guys right back in. Um, okay, so the scale of this demonstration got a little bit larger than I thought it would. Uh, but let's just go around and count the ore blocks and then um, I think this whole, this whole thing will make a lot more sense to you. So we have, um, this is too wide too thick rather so that's uh, 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 coal ore 1 2 3 4 5 um, 6 7 8 9 10 11 plus 8 is 19 plus 8 is 27 27 yep because there's 8 so 27 redstone or I'm just keeping track of these for myself too so we can compare before and after um, 27 redstone 2 4 um, lapis and then iron 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 is that right uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine up top, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, because that one's a bedrock. Okay, twelve iron ore. Cool. So totals looking like 
Let's see here. And I'm totally messing it up. So, 27 redstone ore, 12 iron ore, and 18 coal ore. And I think I messed up the coal ore. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. No, I was right. Okay. Um, so, the way to use Super Breaker, and this is mistake number... Oh, uh, Super Breaker. The way to use... Um, the TNT for blast mining is where most people screw it up. They think because, okay, their blast mining is of a certain strength. You know, place it, and then hit it with the flint and steel, and then run away, run away. Yeah, that's not how you do it, okay? That's mistake number one that people make. That's not how you activate your special ability. The way to do it is to place the TNT go very far away from it okay you have to hold shift to sneak and then when you right click with the flint and steel it goes off instantly okay ready here it comes three two one instantly and I was this far away from it number one it's still ignited and number two I still felt it okay so the blast radius expands the higher you level it up and um, it becomes slightly more dangerous, but it also does more work for you, so it's good, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this down. Uh, let me do slash mining again. MC score board keep. And that should stay up there. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so... Blast mining is like a 30 second timer. Uh, it has like a 30 second cooldown. It's not bad at all. So, um, it's apparently only updating every 5 seconds on here. But that's okay. Not necessary for it to update constantly. So what we're doing is, I'm just going to try and take out as much as I can with as few pieces of TNT as possible. Now it only works, the blast mining is only activated when you use... Uh, it's only activated for the block you the TNT block you actually click on so I can't put like one TNT block here then a string of them around this whole thing and then I hit this one and then they all go off it doesn't work that way it only applies to the one you click so keep it in mind now I'm just gonna blow this one here real quick where can I see it from here we go boom and I still felt it I was really far away and I still felt it um, Oh, and another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys real quick while we're doing this. You might think, okay, I'm not a level, I'm not level, you know, I'm just joining. I'm not level 1,000 or 2,000 or whatever, you know, why, what's, what is even the point of this? Well, when you harvest ores from blast mining, okay, at level 125, you, you start at level 125 with a 35% bonus to the ores that drop. So, I already, um, I cleared out 54 coal ore, and this is the second point, 54 coal ore, 18 iron ore, and, uh, 14 redstone ore. Though, I just, that was from one TNT. Now, at mine, I get no debris, at my level, I get zero debris and plus 70% to ore, but you already get one-third more ore, and it's silk touched. It's like silk touch ore, so you can take it back and then do fortune on it. Take it back to your place and do fortune in peace. So, I mean, this is just huge amounts of ore. It's huge amounts of ore. It's ores and ores and more ores. So, my blast mining's refreshed already. I'm going to take out that stuff up there. Should be good here. There we go. Let's gather up these materials. So again, I get no debris. You're going to get some cobble right when you start. No big deal. Alright, so we didn't get into any other ore veins here. So our sample is not polluted. And um, oh, we did get some coal up there. I don't know if any came down. But the point, the point will still be made. Okay, so this is our last one here. Just to get rid of this a little bit. Um, and if you get your excavation skill up, when you find gravel... Uh, when you find gravel and you mine gravel with your shovel, you'll actually start pulling up um, you'll start pulling up gunpowders every so often so you won't even need to take on creepers. It's not even really that risky to get some dynamite. Um, the thing is it only works in it only works in the farm world. 
TNT damage is off in the regular world because of this very reason, I imagine. So my uh, my cooldown's done and fire. Okay, I think I exposed some more there, uh, but I don't I don't need any more redstone, so we're just gonna leave that there. And uh, you know what? Let's head back to my place. I'm just gonna actually warp there, so you guys see I'm not cutting away. There's no, uh, there's no you know secret things going on here. Like, oh, I'm just you know, so I'm switching into creative real quick and just padding my inventory with, with a new thing. So, um, here is all the stuff that I got, and it is preposterous. Um, let's just start lining these up so you can see. I happen to get two smooth stones. So we started with uh, 27 redstone, and I actually now have a stack of redstone ore and 15. Uh, 12 iron ore is what we started with, and I have actually 36 iron ore. Um, before I blew stuff up, there were 18 coal ore. I now have 54 coal ore and four lapis, which I turned into nine lapis just from using the blast mining. Now your numbers are going to be slightly lower, but way more than if you would be mining it normally. So definitely guys, I, I, I can you, can you appreciate, can you see like the scale of this implication? It's, it's preposterous. It is so much stuff. So, um, I'm going to lay, you saw the numbers. I'm going to lay the blocks out. Uh, and then I'm going to super breaker them with, um, with a fortune three pick and then we'll see exactly how much crap I get this is it's gonna be insane it's gonna be insane I promise you're gonna be like why haven't I always been doing this every day of my life forever please so I'm gonna go finish setting all this crap up and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna super breaker as much as we can okay so we have this here um, you saw I just smelted one iron ore and it became two iron ingots. My smelting's high. It's uh, smelting is something I'll explain a little bit later. But work on your. Uh, it's a secondary skill, so it's based upon other other uh, MCMMO skills that you have. Leveling up everything helps. So we're not going to be able to get more out of this from Fortune, but that is a okay. So let's grab. Where's the good old Fortune pick at? Do I have? Do I actually have it on me? Oh, I have my silk touch on me. Where is it? Come on. Did Adrian take it? No, he didn't. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we'll be able to get this whole thing in one shot. Uh, in one Super Breaker shot. But my Super Breaker lasts for like 29 seconds. So, uh, Also, before I do this, there has been a rumor going around. Uh, it was prevalent on the server that you shouldn't use Super Breaker and Fortune because they cancel the effects out. And Fortune by itself slightly edges out Super Breaker. But that is not true. They stack. We confirmed it with a test of one stack of redstone laid out like this, and I got, uh, I ended up getting like 50% more blocks using Fortune and Super Breaker instead of just Fortune. So confirmed. Do not do that. All right, so I'm gonna right click, and here we go. You hear my levels going up? Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to do it. We're gonna be able to do it. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Inventory is obviously full, so I'm gonna go back and let's see. Let's get rid of this. Let's see how we did here. Full inventory again. Okay, we did pretty well, I think. Now, all right, you're thinking. So you know, what's the big deal? Just dump that drink in there. Thinking, all right, what's the big deal? So you got a lot of redstone. Well, that was because I didn't happen to stumble upon any diamonds. The bonuses work for diamonds. It's not different. So I gained, I don't know how long I was mining for, five minutes? I, I gained 17 or 18 levels, and I have an inventory full of redstone, coal, and lapis. Not to mention, I'm going to have, looks like a stack plus of iron yeah and that was all I mean you saw it all happen so that is a huge tip for you guys that is it's like free stuff it's ridiculous I didn't even I mean I have 
I built this pick, so I was able to get um, efficiency five and unbreaking three onto the fortune pick. Um, but you can see that it was clearly worth the work. So you guys should be well on your way, um, on your way to huge amounts of ores. Again, I didn't happen to find any diamonds, but the effect remains the same now. What does it look like if? Okay, this is one of. I want to show you two more things, three more things. This episode. I know it's a big episode. But these are important things, and they'll help you guys get off on the right foot. Now, um, what does it look like when you go mining with people that happen to actually stumble upon diamonds? What kind of stuff can you get? So from that blast mine, you remember the huge hole that I showed you guys? From that one hour of blast mine, it wasn't even an hour. I'm saying an hour. It was maybe 40 minutes. Uh, but until we finished divvying everything up and breaking all the blocks down like you saw me do just then, it took about an hour. So this is what we got. So, Sarah CB, Telekinetic Llama, and I, the three of us, were able to acquire this. And this is from, so the glowstone I got from uh, digging dirt and gravel. This doesn't include all the flint and gunpowder I got. Um, but, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stacks, nine and a half stacks of redstone blocks, 30 lapis blocks. A stack and almost a half of coal blocks, 37 blocks of iron, 12 blocks of gold. And look at this. Almost a stack and a half of diamonds from one hour. And by the way, this is only my cut. We found that we each have a chest filled with this much materials. Don't forget, okay? After that hour, we split it up three ways, and this is only my cut. This is only a third of what we found. So we actually found three, four five stacks of diamonds with the blast mining are you getting that in an hour three people five stacks of diamonds is that sinking in for you yet i don't know i hope so i hope so so i wanted to show you that um just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a little bit of a of scope there um the haste two potion I didn't get to this episode. The episode's running longer than I wanted it to. Um, I'm going to get to this next time. The Haste 2 Potion, you can use Alchemy. You get to level 125 with Alchemy. I'm going to show you an easy way to do that next episode. That will get you the Haste 2 Potion, which applies the Haste effect from Beacons. So that speeds up mining if you don't feel like um, Blast Mining or while you're waiting to get to Blast Mining because leveling up Alchemy is super, super, super fast. The last thing I wanted to show you guys, the third thing here, is that I am 99% done with the wall. I'm just going to do a fly around here so you guys can check it out. The wall around the base. Also, I put shaders on. I don't know. I don't think shaders are going to work too well right now. It's just probably going to gray everything out. But um, I've been screwing around with that, taking some nice screenshots anyway. Um, starting to have an Asian vibe to it, which I'm digging. Um, I still have to put bump outs in the wall like I showed originally, and I've been stockpiling some nether quartz for that. But you can see the wall around my little island is complete. Now, Adrian has joined us, uh, and he's going to be taking on this mission to complete this awesome build with me. Happy to have him along for the ride. He's over here on the adjacent island getting his stuff set up. He gave away all his money, which was in the millions yeah, like 1.4 million and he has a couple thousand again now so he's also starting he knows how to make money and he's gonna give us some tips as well oh, that was cool he likes these big trees which just grew um so we're trying to get this this kind of uh wet rice paddy farming kind of vibe to go with with wheat and uh, starting to work out so that is it for this episode Check the forums because the post to help us build is up. I can't wait to see the things you guys have built. Um, go ahead and fly over to the region. Set a home here. It's cool with me. Um, and check out the style that Adrian and I have set up for me for next episode. I'm going to be building a warehouse right here, which will be my new chest room. And I'm, you can see my... Sheep funnel's gone. I am going to switch to a new kind of sheep harvesting uh, technique or wool harvesting technique. Um, I just wanted to get this done, so we got rid of that. So we kind of reduced lag a little bit. Um, and uh, so I want to show you guys that. I want to show you guys this maybe, and then we'll talk more about alchemy, which is brewing potions. But that is it for this episode. 
Thank you dudes so much for hanging out and checking this out. I hope you guys found it useful. Check out my YouTube channel for other Let's Plays. There's going to be a, a warehouse Let's Build coming out shortly as well. So you can see step by step how I did that. I'm going to be finishing up the wall here. Lots to come and lots more to find out to help you guys make that sweet money on the server. I hope you guys are having fun. It's kind of fun to start over for me. I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. If there's anything else you guys like to see me add or work out or explain for you guys, let me know. Drop me a line. Thanks again for watching, dudes. I genuinely do appreciate every single like, comment, view, and sub. See you, Duke. I'm out.